stand it here. I am thinking about you now, my fellow Americans. We have always been a unique union. America, the fabric of our gentle nation, is tattered. But our courage and our common sense must ascend and bring us back together as one. When I watched the violent bullet strike my husband, Donald, I realized my life and my baron's life were on the brink of devastating change. I am grateful to the brave Secret Service agents and law enforcement officials who risked their own lives to protect my husband. To the families of the innocent victims who are now suffering from this heinous act, I humbly offer my sincerest sympathy. Your need to summon your inner strength for such a terrible reason saddens me. A monster who recognized my husband as an inhuman political machine attempted to wring out Donald's passion, his laughter, ingenuity, love of music, and inspiration. The core facets of my husband's life, his humble side, were buried below the political machine. Donald, the generous and caring man who I have been with through the best of times and the worst of times. Let us not forget the differing opinions, policy and political games are inferior to love. Our personal, structural and life commitment until death is at serious risk. Political concepts are simple when compared to us human beings. We are all humans and fundamentally, instinctively, we want to help one another. American politics are only one vehicle that can uplift our communities. Love, compassion, kindness, and empathy are necessities. And let us remember that when the time comes to look beyond the left and the right, beyond the red and the blue, we all come from families with the passion to fight for a better life together while we are here in this earthly realm. Dawn is here again. Let us reunite now. This morning, ascend above the hate, the vitriol, and the simple-minded ideas that ignite violence. We all want a world where respect is paramount, family is first, and love transcends. We can realize this world again. Each of us must demand it to get it back. We must insist that respect fills the cornerstone of our relationships again. I am thinking of you, my fellow Americans. The winds of change have arrived. For those of you who cry in support, I thank you. I commend those of you who have reached out beyond the political divide. Thank you for remembering that every single politician is a man or a woman with a loving family.